We're doing some trout fishing today. Out here nice and early. It's pretty cold out, but just above freezing, so shouldn't have any frozen guides. There's already some trout rising up, I've seen. We're gonna have a great little morning here. Got the place to myself, we got some deer moving out here in the distance so we aren't by ourselves but just me and nature oh got one got one nice i was focusing on the coyotes back there caught a fish nice what kind of fish is it? Nice. It's a uh, rainbow trout. Keep him in the water. Get that guy. That went down super fast. Wow. Beautiful fish. Wow. I think it's gonna be a beautiful morning. We got some, some real nice fog moving in here. And we're already on the board with the nice rainbow trout. And uh, yeah, that was on just a little, little black swim bait. And I'm using my, my Loomis rod, my GL2 rod with the Pen Clash 1000. I'm a really big fan of the Pen Clash 1000. I've got a uh, six pound braid and six pound, six pound fluorocarbon tied on, the uni to uni knot. Got a pretty serious flow going on here, that's good. Sometimes when it's too slow, it makes the bite tricky. So I like to work my way up, upriver when it comes to the trout fishing, because the, the trout are usually facing the current. Ooh, there's a hit. Just messed that up. Um, just, oh, got him. Got him. Damn. Damn. This fish is going nuts. Wow. Another rainbow, it looks like. Got him. Wow, this is a nice rainbow. Sick. Keep him in the water. Barbless. Look at that guy. Woo. Later, buddy. Wow, they are active. He swiped at it and then came back. That was cool. But yeah, I feel like with the trout fishing, they're usually faced upstream. So if you can start downstream and then work your way up, it's usually your best bet because the water is super clear, and when they see you, it's pretty much game over. Got him. Got another one. Wow, this one's even... Oh, he popped off. That was a nicer one. But yeah, I do feel like it's it's pretty important to to work your way upstream. At least that's what I've found to be the best way to approach these trout. Once they see you, they'll act pretty different. Especially once the light comes up, like during the middle of the day. I think they're sitting 
It's a little cut right here. All my hits have been coming right in that little cut. So they're probably sitting a little deeper. And also all my uh, hits have been on the bottom. So I'm just kind of letting this drift downstream. Working it pretty slow. Got him. Yeah, all my hits are coming on the bottom. Nice fish. Another nice one. Looks like another rainbow. Yeah, rainbow trout. I think these are all rainbows. This is a managed area, so these are these are stocked. You can see the hook pops right out. Keep him in the water. Super nice fish. What a beauty. Um, this is barbless single hook. But yeah, a little little spinner would definitely work or I mean anything, a little little fly. But this early in the season, you know, there isn't as many bugs and these fish are not rising. They're just sitting on the bottom in this current. So I feel like a float, if you drop the float in their face, they might get too long of a look at it. There we go, fish on. Woo! Woohoo! And uh, if they get too long of a look at it, they might just turn away. I've watched them before and they'll just turn away. Nice fish. Got wrapped up in that log for a sec. Wow, these fish are so active. It's crazy. Nice. Sweet. It's early in the morning, you know. These fish get super supercharged up show this to the camera all right let's get them back nice we're doing well today i think that's later bud i think that's uh four fish it's usually nice browns hanging in this little section here. It's just so rocky that um, for the jig fishing that I'm doing, I really need like a, a, a dry fly for this little section. So I'm gonna keep moving my way up to the next big hole. Yeah, this is a more of a fly area. Not trying to sound like a hippie, but you know, good for the soul. Fishing, you know, a friend I was messaging with, he uh, said, fishing's chicken noodle soup for the soul. It's so true. So true. So good for you. Mental well-being. Being out in nature. I love it. It's definitely my favorite type of filmmaking. I'll tell you what, just like trucking gear towards through the woods I totally get it it's not for everyone but I freaking love it man it's hard work physically hard aesthetically difficult that's kind of something that I really love about this whole YouTube thing is it's so competitive and you really gotta give it your all and that's what I'm all about in life you know really just pushing yourself whenever possible. I feel like that's when the best ideas come out. I really want to get up over there, but um, like I said, you really got to work your way up because this section is more like the wild browns and stuff and they're, uh, they're so much smarter. Oh, nice. Got one. First cast at this pool. That's awesome. Another rainbow. This is a rainbow kind of day. 
I think this is our nicest one though. Got him. Yeah, this is our nicest rainbow of the day. Sick. Hook popped right out. Look at that guy. That's a beauty right there. Keep him in the net, in the water, as long as possible. Wash our hands off here. Show them to the camera. Super nice rainbow trout. Look at those colors. What a beauty. All right, bud. Thanks for saying hey. Bye. That was the nicest one of the day right there. Sick, all rainbows. Got him, nice. Got another one. I think these are all rainbows. Another beauty. What a gorgeous fish. All right, later, bud. All rainbows. Keep working my way to the next area. Really want to catch a brown trout today. That's, that's definitely the goal. But if it's all rainbows, that's okay. Ah, it's really flowing. It's been all decent amount of rain lately and it is really flowing which is that's good fills up these little pockets and pools here on Bob's Brock light's starting to really come up here so work some some deeper water Catch some different species here. I'm gonna switch my presentation up and move into using some power bait. Uh, move away from that dark, dark. Now the sun's kind of starting to come up. And jig I'm using is 1 32nd of an ounce. That's what I've been using all morning. Tungsten jig. Yeah, I'm gonna try something like that and then. Um, I'm going to work it really slow with the float. So I'm going to throw on a uh, trout magnet float. And now the sun's coming up and these fish are going to start to get a little more sluggish. I'm going to throw on a float and do more of a vertical presentation. Early in the morning when they're mo really moving around, you know, the quick retrieve is where it's at. but. As the sun starts to come up and they get a little more slow down a little bit in the winter time, the, the vertical presentation with the float is great. But early, early morning, you know, when the fish are very active, I find the retrieve to work the best. There's a tap. Something's on it. Oh, there we go. Got him. Oh, trout. Nice. Yeah, see when the... Uh, when the sun starts to come up, these fish get a lot more lethargic. Oh, this is a nice fish. Another one was following him. Wow. Sick. Another rainbow? Yeah, it looks like another rainbow. Really, really nice one. Nice. On that power bait. Wow, this is a fatty. I'm going to move him over here.
keep them in the water. I just wanna make sure to wash wash my hands off before I touch them. It's a nice fish. Yeah, look at that guy. What a beauty. There he goes. Beautiful fish. I was gonna try and get a photo with him, but he was out of here. Fish love to go in the hardest to reach areas. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I just sunk. I just sunk. I just sunk. Oh man. That was bad. I just sunk. It's <laughs> just saying fish like to go in the hardest to reach areas. And I sunk. Oh, that was really bad. Oh, that's cold. Almost just went down. Saw the fish over there, so I just went for it, but yeah, that ain't that ain't worth it. Oh, I'm stuck in the prickers. Oh, I'm stuck over here. I'm stuck in everything. Oh. 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 This is bad. Oh, I think I found a passage. Just go through here. Here we go. Try pushing through here. Here we go. Stuck on this tree. Oh, there goes my other tripod. Oh, tripod's falling. Gear, gear getting messed up. Oh, now my rod's stuck. Oh. Well, thank you for watching the episode today. That was fun. It was kind of a dramatic ending there, but luckily Velbin's okay. And uh, we caught some fish, you know, all rainbow trout, but that's better than getting skunked. And not sure if they're all stocked or maybe some are from, you know, a past stocking. Or I'm not sure, but they were all pretty aggressive and uh, makes me think that they're all stocked trout. But thanks for watching, everyone. And uh, if you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing. It helps me, you know, continue to follow and pursue my dreams and if you like the episode please give it a little like smash that like button for your boy bob and i'll see you on the next one